Yo, it's me, your boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to talk about the latest episode of Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War arc, episode 2. So let's get straight into this. So, uh, spoilers for this episode. So, uh, we get to see Yuaha Bark, and he is uh, talking to one of his subordinates, the one that he uh, cut his arm off, and um, he's on the ground, just bleeding out and everything like that, and he's uh, talking to, uh, you know, um... I kind of, um, you know, you weren't supposed to do that, you know, you, um, how dare you, um, you know, go and warn them about our attack, um, on the, uh, Soul Society, um, can, um, and why did you give them five days, um, you know, and can you predict the future, and he's, uh, going over what he did and everything like that, and he's like, but sir, I, I, I was only following your, and he just pops his head like it was nothing, and he's just sitting in his throne, like this, you know, like this god, um, like, you know, don't talk back to me, and everything like that, and just looks super cool, I love, I'm really liking the setup for a Yuha Bark, like he's just a, you know, this overwhelming sort of god, you know, presence, uh, and he doesn't like you to talk back to him, and he doesn't really give a shit about, who, um, you know, which side you're on, on if you're on his side, or the, you know, the other side, he will just you know, end you like that, even if you are, you know, on his side and everything like that, and it was just like, um, when he popped this guy's head, I was just like, whoa, that is, that was so, like, brutal, I guess you could say, and then he also pops the other guy's head that was there with him, and he just pops his guy's head as well, the guy that tried to take, uh, Ichigo's Bankai and everything like that in the last episode, and then, um, you know, and then we cut away to uh, the opening. Uh, the opening was really, really good. I really enjoyed uh, the aesthetic of the opening and the uh, visuals and the song and everything like that. Uh, the song, uh, it took a little while to get sort of, uh, you know, into the song, but it was a nice uh, sort of, uh, you know, um, song and it sort of suits Bleach and the uh, visuals uh, do spoil a couple of things that are going to happen later on in the arc, but I feel like it wasn't that spoilerish. So yeah, so let's just go over what happened in the uh, opening so we get this nice uh, shot of the you know um, of Chad of Orihime and Ichigo and Uryu um, and this like pink um this hot pink sort of aesthetic and this you know white white and black you know background and everything like that it looks really nice and cool and then we get to see a shot of Ichigo with his uh, sword it's uh um, it's like a cover sort of page I know that much and it looks really nice and then we get to see uh, Orihime and uh, Chad and Uryu and they look really cool in this like you know sort of pink um you know um um, you know, um, hot pink, you know, sort of background, and then there's, like, this, um, you know, um, manga sort of, like, you know, drawing, over, um, and it looks really cool, um, so, yeah, and then we get to see the squad one, uh, squad two, squad three, squad four, squad five, uh, squad six, squad seven, uh, squad eight, squad nine, and then squad 11, uh, squad 12, and also squad 13, and also squad 14. Um, and they all get their and their nice shots with their lieutenants and captains, and they all look really cool. And then we see uh, Ichigo sort of shaking hands with his uh, hollow form uh, that is like setting up um, for what happens later on. On and the uh, arc, and then we get to see uh, Ichigo's, uh, you know, sword, uh, you know, Tensei Sagetsu, he's looking really cool and everything like that, uh, we get a nice shot of Uryu with his uh, necklace, uh, his uh, Quincy necklace um, thing, and then uh, we see the main villain, uh, Yuha Bark, and uh, his uh, squad of, you know, people, and he looks really cool, and uh, we'll get introduced to those guys later on in the arc, um, and we'll get all their personalities and everything like that, and uh, yeah. And then we also get a shot of the uh, Royal Guard, I think that's what they're called, and they're like the higher, uh, I mean, a higher echelon of the uh, Soul Reapers who are uh, who uh, protect the uh, Soul King. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And then uh, that is basically the uh, opening in a nutshell. We do get to see some fights and everything like that, and the song is really good, and I like the visuals, and uh, I like this uh, sort of like aesthetic for the uh, opening. It's a really good opening. I'd give this opening a good solid uh, seven point five out of 10 yeah so yeah I really like it uh, will I watch this every single time I watch bleach probably not I probably will skip it uh, but it was a good opening uh, for the first time to see it so yeah and then we get into the uh, episode. We get to see uh, Orihime and uh, Chad and Uryu uh, talking to the new, um, the two uh, new Soul Reapers that are, you know, in Katakura Town, and they. Um and I love the way that Orihime is just like, you know, staring at them, um, eating this bread intensely, and it's just like, okay, Orihime, like, why, why are you staring at them like that? <laughs> it looks really funny. Um, so yeah. 
And then uh, Ichigo comes back in after he was dealing with that guy. Um, he went back to uh, um, where Wake and Window is, uh, where the Shadow Palace is, uh, to talk to Yuaha Bark. And then they get a call from the uh, Soul Society about what just happened in the Soul Society, and they um, you know, explain that um, you know the um, Lieutenant of the First, uh, I mean, the Division has been killed, and a bunch of um, you know Soul Reapers from the first, uh, you know, from the first barracks has been killed as well, and uh, you know that um, and they attacked the head captain's uh you know sort of office and um, you know a bunch of people are dead and uh there's a lot going on in the soul society and uh you know they're just reporting everything that happened uh just some i mean in the last episode so uh yeah and everyone's kind of uh, shocked about what just happened in the Soul Society, and Ichigo and the rest of the gang is hearing this for the first time, and they're just like, "Whoa, what this? And what just happened?" You know. And it's a really, uh, you know, nice shot of them all hearing this uh, news and everything like that. And it's just, uh, and they all just like sort of like quiet and sort of like you know, um, in shock of what just happened. So yeah. And then we get uh, shots of Ichigo, uh, Chad, and Orihime, and Uryu, uh, sort of, um, you know, alone, and just think about, you know, thinking about what just happened, and everything like that, the news that they just got from the Soul Society, and everything like that, and then Ichigo uh, goes out and patrols, and then Nell comes out of nowhere and hits uh, Ichigo right in the chest, and he, um, he's like, what the hell, Nell? Like, um, why are you here? And he, um... He, uh, you know, Nell, I mean, asks you to go for her, I mean, for his uh, help, and he's just like, "What, what's going on?" And our uh, Mundo has been taken over by the Stern Ritters, well, one of the Stern Ritters, and uh, he's killing a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, Rankars and um, and Hollows and everything like that. And he, um, and uh, Yuha Bark, uh, has captured Holly Bell, uh, one of um, the new leader of Waco Mundo. So, uh, yeah. And we find out this um, in the in this episode, uh, you know, Nell Ox, you know, it should go to help. And then we go back to, uh, you know, Yuha Bark, and uh, he uh, kills the two guys that were in his uh, in his like presence, I guess you could say, in his office. And then we see uh, him walk up some stairs, and then he uh, reveals that he has captured a uh, Holly Bell and what happened to uh, Waco Mundo and everything like that. And uh, we see a little bit of a flashback uh, from Holly Bell's uh, perspective about how he um you know how you are bark is coming down with all of his like stern readers uh to exterminate all of these uh, hollows and around cars and everything like that and uh holly bell um was basically in the wall and she is looking at uh donda chaka and uh um peshe and also nell um and she's just like run <laughs> like because you know they're just coming to kill everyone and everything like that and it's just a complete massacre and everything like that and there's a little bit of a flashback um of what happened and everything like that and it's just like whoa what, like what is happening like there's there's so much set up in this episode and it's set up really really well and this sort of elevates uh the whole like sort of like tone of the anime and everything like that so uh yeah and it tells you that this um these these individuals these, this group this organization isn't messing around uh they're going after the soul reapers they're going after the hollows and they um you know they're not taking any prisoners or anything like that so uh yeah and then uh peshe comes down and uh um, and ichigo has a bit of a funny moment with peshe and nell and it's pretty funny so yeah and then we get the uh, funeral of the uh, squad one. Uh, he, um, um, you know, uh, the squad one you know, lieutenant, uh, his funeral and everything like that. Uh, he died in the last episode, and everyone's there, all the captains and lieutenants and everything like that. And they're all sort of paying their respects to him and everything like that. And we get to see his uh, grave. They do the whole uh, burning on um, his grave and everything like that. And we get to see the head captain, and he's sort of, uh, you know, s um, standing there. And we get to see, um, you know, his sort of, um, you know, final moments with. With, um, you know his lieutenant and him and, and he's like bowing down to him and this might be my thumbnail uh, for the episode it looks really cool and really nice and I love that how there's no um, there's no um, no words it's just silent and everything like that and they're just paying their respects to this you know this I mean you know, this guy and I really like that so yeah and then we get a brief shot of Yuzuna and Cardine. We don't get very much of them, but uh, it's nice to see them and everything like that. And then Peshe tells uh, Ichigo about what happened in Wake Mundo and everything like that. And we get the uh, flashback and uh, about Holly Bell, you know, telling them to run and everything like that. And Peshe tells, uh, you know, Ichigo, can you please help us? Uh, when you know, we were being wiped out and everything like that. And uh, Ichigo is that guy who will help anyone in need and everything like that. And, you know, Nell and Peshe are his 
his friends and everything like that and he's just like yeah sure i'll help you guys out and then uryu uh says i will not help them i will um you know quincy's are uh, you know born to kill hollows i uh, will not go against my you know nature and everything like that and uh he's just like um i can't participate in this so yeah so then uh Udahara comes in and Udahara is my favorite character of uh Bleach and I love him and he comes in and he's like oh so you're going to Waco Mundo well I guess you need a guide so I'll be your guy <laughs> and so yeah so he uh guides them to uh Waco Mundo and he um gets them in and he uh you know opens up a portal and they all sort of fly into Wigamundo and uh they see uh the, um, what's happened there and it's just a bloody massacre um where hollows and everything are just you know all over the place with this you know blue flames and everyone's like you know dead and everything like that and it's just like a massacre and it's just like whoa what the hell just happened here and everything like that and it's like what the hell and then uh we see a bunch of uh you know um hollows sort of all lined up in one big group and all of these uh you know quincy's uh you know so, um are about to like um pick them off one by one and the uh stern we get introduced to the first stern reader the uh stern reader j and he um and he uh, he's sitting on the throne and everything like that and he's uh picking off one of these uh he's picking off all of these uh you know uh hollows uh one by one and he doesn't give a shit about who i um, mean you know, who they are or anything like that and he's just picking them off one by one and then uh two hollows step forward and we've met these two girls uh once before their names are holly and i can't remember the other one's name off the top of my head sorry uh, it's been a very long time since i've seen these two i um, mean you know, hollows and everything like that but they're um but they're here to uh you know sort of uh you know um to you know attack and everything like that and they pull out their swords and they try to uh you know um attack this person but uh they have no chance against this guy <laughs> like they just get bodied really quickly and they're not and they have no chance at all and they get you know kind of done away with really quickly so yeah and then uh holly bells uh you know um girls come in and i don't really remember their names or who they are but they're not really too important honestly uh they're kind of just you know come in to sort of uh you know um kill some dudes and everything like that but then they get kind of uh you know bodied really easily like they're not really that important honestly <laughs> and i kind of forgot who they were and i don't really think anyone would really uh care too much about who these characters were because it's been so long since we've seen these characters but i do enjoy uh you know their uh little inner you know, fight that they have with this stern reader jay so yeah and then uh we get to see uh you know their um then we get to see the captains and they're reporting on what just happened at you know wake mundo and everything like that and what happened at the uh squad one barracks and everything like that and you know at the attack and everything like that and what's going on uh and they also determined that these um you know these individuals are quincy's and uh that's the, and that's who the enemy just attacked us and everything like that and then we get to sort of the end of the uh, episode where ichigo is about to uh, meet the stern reader uh with uh nell sort of like you know um uh riding him and everything like that and we get to see that he has just bodied all of uh holly bells uh you know sort of like um um subordinates and everything like that and they're all sort of like dead and <laughs> they weren't really much of a you know threat to this guy at all so and i don't really i didn't really care about them honestly uh, i didn't think they were going to do anything um to this person anyways so uh yeah and then we get the uh, last shot of the episode where ichigo's looking at this guy and he's like and he's saying who are you and uh you know the stern reader looks up at ichigo and he just kind of smiles and that's kind of the end of the uh episode in a nutshell so yeah but uh this episode was really really good uh we have a um, we have a you know ending song as well uh the ending song is not the same as the other ending song for the uh other episode but uh it's a good and uh, it's a good ending song it gives you uh you know it um uh, shows you all of the uh captain's sort of swords and everything like that and has a really nice song to it and everything like that um and i think that will be the uh, opening and ending for you know bleach so yeah um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this uh, episode. I really enjoyed it. I think it was a good, uh, you know, um, setup episode, setting up a Yuha arc and what's going on in Wicker Mundo, uh, getting to see Nell and everything like that, getting to see Holly Bell and what's going on. And uh, yeah, it was a really good episode. I give this episode a good solid... Um, 
uh, 7.5, maybe an 8 out of 10. It was a really good sort of setup episode, and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. But anyways, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. This is your boy, Shonen Boy, signing out. You know, like and subscribe. Comment down below uh, what did you like about this episode the most. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later, and have an awesome day.